Hello and welcome. We've been getting a lot of questions about what do we recommend in terms of lenses for night skiing. I'm gonna be upfront with you. Uh, I haven't actually ever had the opportunity to go night skiing or night boarding myself. Uh, so understand that I'm being, uh, I'm being honest with you, but I do know lenses. I do know, of course, VLT, visible light transmission. So it's pretty easy to tell you what our top picks are for night skiing. Uh, hopefully this season, we usually go to Mammoth when we, when uh, Sporter X goes snowboarding, uh, but we could go to Big Bear. Hopefully this season we'll go to Big Bear and we'll do a night skiing session. And uh, maybe we'll re uh, re upload this video or do a new video with some really cool footage of us on the mountain. But for now, I want to let you know the best lens offerings that you will have for night skiing. Uh, we have Oakley, we have Zeal, we have Smith, we have Ann, and we have Spy. Uh, I'm going to let you know what to expect out of them, and hopefully you'll have a better idea at the end, which will be perfect for you. Before we get into that, I do want to mention that if you are like myself and you are a prescription wearer, do not forget about the prescription insert. This thing is so much better than doing an OTG goggle, uh, OTG meaning over the glass, where you have to jam your glasses inside of a goggle. That gets uncomfortable. That'll shorten your day on the mountain. At least it did for me. The insert is amazing. We have lots more information on that if you're interested in that. But if you are a prescription wearer, don't sleep on that. It's awesome. First, let's talk about Oakley. Prism, it's one of our favorite lens techs, and this is uh, not new for this season. It came out last season, I believe. I thought it was new this season. I got called out on it. Uh, but Prism Clear, this is pretty awesome. Uh, I was really excited when this lens came out or when I heard about it uh, because I feel like there was a, a void in the market for that Prism technology, but in a an effectively clear lens. So obviously it's not totally clear. You can't have any kind of tint on a lens and have it be completely clear, uh, but you have all of the, the prism technology in an incredibly low light lens. This as a VLT of 64%, I kind of said VLT uh, earlier, visible light transmission. That is to say how much light makes it through the lens. The higher the number, the more light is making it to your eyes. So 64 is letting a good amount of light through. This has a base tint of, it's kind of like a bubble gum pink looking color. Uh, if you're curious, by the way, this is the lens from the Flight Deck M. Uh, something else that I meant to mention in the beginning that I think is worth noting, these lenses aren't super easy to come by. Sometimes they can get uh, sold out, so definitely the earlier in the season you get on this, the better. Uh, also, it's a little less common for some of these lenses to be found in a goggle. So if you're getting a new goggle and you want this lens in that goggle when you buy it, that can be a little bit tough. So just keep that in mind. Uh, usually these lower light, crazy lower light lenses are available as replacement lenses. You have to buy it separately. Next up, we have a Zeal. This is the Persimmon Sky Blue Mirror. So this comes in at a VLT of 65%. By the way, if you're a big fan of Zeal, they also have a clear option, and that comes in at 80%, which might sound interesting. Why is a clear lens 80%? Well, anytime you put something in front of your eyes, it's going to be minimizing the light transmission to some extent, even a clear lens, and their clear lens comes in at 80%. Something to note, there is no tint technology in their clear lenses. Uh, the only clear option that has that tint technology is the prism clear and like i said 64 percent. so still let's let less light through than a clear because of that color enhancing technology anyway the persimmon sky blue mirror 65 percent vlt really solid lens zeal is an awesome company uh, an awesome brand that i feel like it's slept on too much uh, they have a really unique selection of lens colors uh, and lens features like polarized and and transitions or photochromatic rather uh, this has a base tint of persimmon, of course, as the name would lead you to believe. Uh, and this is from the Lookout goggle, which is one of our favorite seal goggles. Next up, we have a Smith, can't talk snow without talking Smith and Chromapop. This is the Storm Yellow Flash. This one is a little easier to get your hands on as the majority of Smith's goggles, they offer a bonus lens or a low light lens as well. And the Yellow Flash, 
not as common as like the the rose flash but it is still out there and this is a really really solid lens with a 65 percent vlt uh this has a base tint of yellow obviously as the name would suggest this is the lens in an io mag by the way smith also does offer a clear option their clear lens has a vlt of 89 percent but again, no chromopop technology in that. And then next up, one of my favorite lenses, at least in, in theory, like I mentioned, I do admit I haven't gotten to ride this lens at night, but I have ridden it in blue, uh, sorry, not bluebird, whiteout conditions, uh, and it's awesome. This is a great lens. This is the Perceive Cloudy Night from Anon, and this is from the M4 Cylindrical, not the Torque. I prefer the Torque, torque personally, but doesn't make any difference because the lens is still the same. This comes in at a 72% BLT, so a lot of light getting through, but you still get that Perceive technology, which is awesome. The base tint on this is like a light amber. I love this lens, this is awesome. And then last but certainly not least, we have a Spy lens, and you're getting that happy tint technology, Spy Happy, and this is the LL Yellow. LL means low light, obviously. Crazy low light. This actually lets in 80%. So there's a VLT of 80% on this yellow and you're getting that happy technology, which is awesome. And it does have, of course, as you would imagine, a yellow base tint. Uh, and Spy also offers a clear lens and that comes in at 83%. So I would say if you're looking at Spy, go for the LL yellow because it lets through just about as much, but you're getting some of that color enhancement, which is awesome. And this is from the Marauder. Okay, that wraps up our top picks in night skiing. I hope now you know which one is right for you. Now that you know our top picks in night skiing goggle lenses, check out our top picks in snow goggles for this season. Also, if this video was helpful for you, throw us a like, because that helps us out. Also subscribe, we have great content just like this, and then you'll get that straight to your inbox as soon as it drops, why not? Also check us out on our social media outlets, I think you'd like that too. Good stuff, thanks for watching.